On May 23rd, 2023, Neuralink made an exciting announcement on Twitter. They have shared that they have received approval from the US Food and Drug Administration to conduct their first clinical study involving humans. It's a major milestone for Elon Musk's brain machine interface company. They are working on a revolutionary chip similar to Fitbit for the brain, which will be implanted inside the skull. The team at Neuralink is confident that this technology has the potential to restore full body functionality. In fact, Musk himself expressed confidence by saying, quote, I could have a Neuralink device implanted right now and you wouldn't even know. He has showcased demonstrations of this technology on at least four occasions since 2019. Musk aims to initiate human trials for brain implants to address severe conditions like paralysis and blindness. So, how unique is Neuralink's technology and why is Musk so determined to develop it? We'll explore these questions in today's episode. Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive in, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and don't forget to ring the bell to stay updated on our future videos. Now, let's jump into today's content. FDA approval for the Neuralink project is a significant milestone. It means that the US Food and Drug Administration has recognized and approved Neuralink's investigational device exemption for its implant R1 robot. This clearance allows Neuralink to conduct human clinical trials for their device. It's an important step forward for the Neuralink company, which has been developing a device designed to be implanted into the human brain using a robot. The goal of this device is to decode brain activity and establish connections with computers. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Neuralink, also shared the announcement on Twitter and congratulated his team on this important achievement. He believes that this is just the beginning and that their technology has the potential to assist numerous individuals. Musk envisions a future where electronic microchips can be used to treat conditions like paralysis and blindness and enable people with disabilities to interact with computers and mobile technology in a way that seems like it's straight out of a cyberpunk-inspired science fiction world. It's worth noting that other companies such as BlackRock Neurotech and Synchron have already conducted clinical trials by implanting devices in people. Approximately 42 individuals have received brain computer implants leading to remarkable advancements that were once only seen in science fiction. Neuralink's goal goes beyond restoring human function. They aim to create a device that can enhance it. In a tweet, Neuralink expressed their desire to surpass the performance of non-disabled individuals using their technology. Elon Musk has also hinted that this technology could help address concerns about humans being replaced by artificial intelligence. Now let's talk about the cost of Neuralink implants. Initially, it is expected to be quite expensive. However, the price is projected to decrease rapidly over time. The objective is to make the cost as affordable as possible. Including the automated surgery process, Neuralink aims to reduce the price to a few thousand dollars. The goal is to make it comparable to the cost of procedures like LASIK eye surgery, where the surgeon's labor and materials make up about a quarter of the total cost. The remaining 75% is divided between the laser and other technical equipment, with around 25 to 40% allocated to pre-operation fees and follow-up expenses. As a result, the overall cost of most people is estimated to be approximately two to $3,000. While surgery rates have fluctuated in the United States over the past few decades, forecasts suggest that the number of surgeries will significantly increase worldwide in the next decade. One estimate suggests there could be up to 5 billion surgeries by 2030. This leads us to the question of how feasible this technology is. Although the idea of implanting electronic chips in to the human brain may sound daunting, it has proven to be remarkably effective. In the initial stages of development, Neuralink achieved an impressive 88% success rate in animal testing, primarily with macaw monkeys. Moving forward to human clinical trials, even greater progress is expected. Remarkable advancements have also been made in Europe, thanks to the efforts of a research team in France and Switzerland. A Dutch man who was paralyzed from the waist down has experienced a life-changing transformation through this technology. With the help of of electronic implants, communication between his brain and spinal cord has been restored. His thoughts are wirelessly transmitted to his legs and feet through a second implant on his spine. Mr. Gershon Ozcom, the recipient of this innovative technology, expressed his joy by saying, I feel like a toddler learning to walk again. It's been a long journey, but now I can stand up and have a beer with my friend. It's a pleasure that many people don't realize. 
he can now stand and even climb stairs. It's truly amazing. Neuralink intends to conduct experiments on humans, selecting a maximum of 10 patients who have specific physical disabilities or illnesses. Their primary focus in these experiments is to enable individuals with complete paralysis to control solely electronic devices like computers or smartphones through their thoughts. In our bodies, the brain generates electrical signals that travel through nerves to control our organs and muscles. These electrical pulses can be considered the programming language of the body. However, physical injuries or degenerative diseases may disrupt the connection between the brain and the body. Neuralink's technology acts as a bridge, allowing these electrical signals to bypass the damaged connection. This enables individuals to regain the ability to control devices and interact with the world using their thoughts. Notably, successful experiments have already demonstrated the ability of patients to control computers through their thoughts. What makes Neuralink stand out is its unique design and implementation of the technology. Brain-Computer Interfaces, or BCIs, typically follow two approaches, invasive and non-invasive. Non-invasive methods involve placing electrode sensors on the scalp to capture brain signals. However, this approach often struggles to establish a strong and reliable connection with the brain. Neuralink, on the other hand, utilizes an invasive BCI implant called the Utah Array. It consists of a square computer chip with multiple small electrode spikes. The process involves removing a portion of the skull, inserting the Utah Array into the brain's outer layer, and attaching a small computing device on top of the head. This device connects to the array and features a wire extending from the top of the head. In addition, Neuralink has announced its plan to utilize a surgical robot instead of a human doctor to carry out the experimental procedures. This surgical robot is specifically designed to rapidly insert multiple flexible probes into the brain, addressing potential issues related to tissue damage and the limited lifespan of larger and more rigid probes. The robot has an insertion head with a thin tungsten rhenium needle measuring 40 microns in diameter. This needle is designed to connect with insertion loops, enabling the injection of individual probes and penetration into the meninges and cerebral tissue. Remarkably, the robot can insert up to six wires, amounting to a total of 192 electrodes per minute. With the rapid advancements in this field, Neuralink is expected to validate its concept and significantly enhance its effectiveness. In the future, it is envisioned that the bulky external equipment worn by patients could be replaced by a Neuralink implant, streamlining the overall interface between the brain and external devices. Neuralink Corporation, founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and a team of scientists and engineers, is an American neurotechnology company focused on developing implant brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. With over 400 employees, the company has raised significant investments, totaling at least $363 million. Neuralink has established operational facilities in Fremont, California, and its headquarters in Austin, Texas. As part of its plans, the company aims to construct a dedicated medical clinic to provide specialized treatment to various patients. Regarding Elon Musk's new development, it is an exciting and innovative venture that has the potential to revolutionize the field of neurotechnology. The concept of implantable BCIs and their ability to restore or enhance human functions through direct brain-computer interfaces is remarkable. However, as an AI language model, I don't possess personal thoughts or the capability to participate in clinical trials. If you have any opinions or thoughts on Musk's new development or would like to express your interest in participating in the clinical trial, please share them in the comments section below. We appreciate your support, and if you enjoyed this content, we kindly ask you to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and enable notifications to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you with us again in the future. Take care.